Hello and welcome to Dad Got This, where we answer the tough questions like, does the Ninja wood fire air fry just as well as a normal air fryer? And what is a French fry's favorite horror movie? That one's easy, The Silence of the Yams. <laughs> This video was inspired by a user question from Sharon Crawford. She asked the question, I always see people posting videos about the smoking and all that kind of stuff, but I don't see anybody posting videos air frying in the Ninja Wood Fire. Does it not air fry like a normal air fryer? I've made some air fried foods in it, but I didn't do the whole frozen food test, the normal air fryer test. So that's what we're gonna do today. I've got a couple of frozen foods. I got chicken nuggies got mozzarella sticks, I got uh, popcorn shrimp. What else do I have? Oh, I got tater tots from Sonics and some french fries. We're gonna put them all through my home air fryer and the Ninja Wood Fire and see if we can tell a difference. I don't know about you, but that sounds like a 10 year old's dream menu to me. Well, I happen to have a 10 year old in the house. This is the kiddo. You guys know and love the kiddo. She is the official food critic of the Dad Got This channel. So today, you are going to be trying a variety of air fried foods. Okay. We're gonna cook them in two different air fryers, okay. and you're gonna tell me if you like one more than the other. Okay. Think you can handle that? Yeah. Your choice, what do you wanna do first? Tater tots, french fries, chicken nuggies, popcorn shrimp, or mozzarella sticks? Mm, popcorn shrimp. I got some Gorton's popcorn shrimp. According to the package, we're supposed to cook them at 400 degrees Fahrenheit or Celsius for eight to 10 minutes shaking halfway through. Now, on all my air fried foods, I always spray it with a little oil to give it more of that real fried flavor. So I'm gonna do that on all these. Let's go pop over to the home air fryer first. This is my air fryer. I like the oven style air fryers over the basket style. Looking at them, do you notice any difference? No, these ones look kind of more crispy. Okay. I'm going to try this one first. Looks pretty good. Okay, so these look pretty crispy, but when I bit into it, it wasn't really crisp, as crispy as I wanted it to be. So this one's okay. I want to try this one next. These look more crispier. These are much more crispy. Try this one from this plate. This one? Try this one. Because it's browner. This one's more crispy, but this is still crispier. Plate number two in there. Okay. That is the home air fryer, not the Ninja. Uh, that one? It's good. It's got a crisp to it. It's a pretty good crisp, but try that one. Try one of the ones that look a little bit more brown. <laughs> I do have more crisp. I do have more. I think because of the way I did the cooking, these got a little bit of extra time sitting in the air fryer, so they might have crisped up more. This one, is the Ninja isn't bad, but the home one is much better crisp. I would say maybe like a 10% a more crispy. Not like mm -hmm. double the crisp. This is still crispy, but it's definitely better. Yeah. We might have to do some adjusting on the Ninja to get it to go super crispy like this one. I think it's because the Ninja maybe is a little bigger. What do you want to do for your next test? Tater tots, french fries, mozzarella sticks, or chicken nuggies? Uh, chicken nuggies. Chicken nuggies it is. We'll be back in with chicken nuggets in a minute. Oh God. Test number two, chicken nuggets. According to the air fry directions, put 16 to 20 nuggets flat, then you don't use any preheating, you do 360 degrees Fahrenheit or Celsius for seven to eight minutes. Let's do that. The hardest part of this video is not eating all of the fried foods that come out of the air fryer before the next test. Okay, I think I'm gonna try this one first, cause okay. I tried this one first last Okay, time. just double check, make sure it's not too hot. They're pretty hot. Mm-hmm, that's nice. It's pretty crispy. It's really good. Okay, I'm gonna try this one. Right. 
I can't really taste a difference in these ones. And the chicken nuggets. No difference at all? No difference, really. All right. They're both me, pretty crispy. Let me get in there. It's got a good crisp to it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try one of the non-cut ones. Oh, okay. Those are identical. They're identical. Like they're both good. I see absolutely no difference in the two of these. I don't even remember which one is which. Let's find out. Pick the plate up and look underneath. Hmm. Ninja. This is a ninja. Okay. This is the home one. And that's the home one. So what I did on this one was I gave the ninja two extra minutes mm. versus the home one. And I think that evened them out. Mm -hmm. I think it's because of the size of the ninja. Mm -hmm. It just needs a little bit of extra time. I ate a whole half of chicken nugget. I was just telling them the hardest part of this entire test is not eating all of the fried foods. Why? Because it's so delicious and you're like, I just want a little more. But then you realize you got more coming. What? Oh, finish it. <laughs> Keep it together. <laughs> What is going to be our next test? Mozzarella have... sticks. Okay, she's going straight for the mozzarella sticks, guys. She's going for the big dog first. All right, we'll see you guys in a little bit. According to the package, we are supposed to preheat the air fryer to 360 degrees Fahrenheit or Celsius. Single layer, six to seven minutes. All right, let's do that. The mozzarella sticks have cooled. Go ahead and see if you can give one of them a pull. You can get a cheese pull out of one of them. Okay. Nice. Okay, go try it now. Pretty good. Not too, too crispy. Okay, let's try this one. Look at the same amount of cheese pull. I can hear the crisp over here. Okay. So now that I've actually been like taking more bites, I feel like the, the crispiness is actually pretty much the same but I kind of like this one better because this one is just like a little bit more crispy, the tiniest bit more crispy. All right, I'm gonna try for cheese pull. All right, they're cooling down, so the cheese is not pulling. That's okay though. Okay, very crispy. I have no problems with crisp. If somebody handed me that, I'd be good to go. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. For me, I can't tell the difference. I can. The kiddo, who is the official taste tester, chooses this one. Lift up the plate, see who we got. I'm just going to eat all the food. Okay. Home! Home again! That. Okay. Try the one that I eat. Try that one. Just finish chewing and then give your thoughts. Now that, the back part of it is crisp, is basically crisp. the same. It's the same. But when I, mm -hmm. I think the other one you had was just a little bit different. Mm -hmm. So would you still call this one a win or a tie? Win. You still give the win. I still give the win. Okay. I really like it. French fries. French fries? No, tater tots. Tater tots! Tater tots it is. Yay. I don't know about you, but I love Sonic's tater tots. I had them in the frozen section. Nine to 10 minutes at 360 degrees Fahrenheit or Celsius. See you then. I'll tell you this one first. I love tater tots. Crispy, crunchy. It's nice and soft on the inside. It's good. I like this one. Okay, now let's try this one out. These look crispier. Can't 
really taste the difference that much. There's not really any real difference in it. If I had to pick one, but <laughs> I really like it. Because it has like the dark on the bottom, it looks a lot more crispy, and it's pretty crisp. They're both pretty crispy. All right, let me get in here. Me too. Oh, crispy, fluffy, pillowy on the inside. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Mm-hmm. That is crunchier. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's definitely got... Taste-wise, the taste is the same. Well, they're the same item. But this one is, like, a lot better. Okay, so I'm going to lift this plate up in three, two, one. Ninja! Ninja gets its first win! Ninja gets its first win! <laughs> All right. Well... French fry time. Only leaves crinkle cut French fries. Yeah. Mm. Oh. <laughs> daddy. <laughs> Super crispy crinkle cut French fries with real Idaho potatoes. 360 degrees Fahrenheit or Celsius for 12 to 14 minutes. The final showdown. Crinkle cut fries. Why are you being so intense? I don't know. I felt like this was a. It's just way. French fries. All right. Okay. Um. I guess I'll try this one first. I heard a crunch over here. It's a good crinkle fry. It's pretty good. It's a nice and crispy on the outside, nice and chewy on the inside. Now let's try these ones. These ones look crispier. Nice crispiness. If you blindfold me, I don't even know if I can tell the difference. <laughs> can you? If you got a blindfold somewhere. Can you cover my eyes and then like switch up? Just close your eyes. You don't have to, we trust you that you won't peek. Just close them. Just keep them closed. Okay, I'm gonna hand you one. Try that fry. Next. Mm. Mm. Okay, now hold on. One more. What do you mean one more? Just one, keep your eyes closed. One more. What do you mean one more? Mm. Is that one any different than the first two? Mm. I, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I feel like the first the first one is really different from one from two and three. Two and three kind of is kind of really similar because they both have like that crunch. Okay, open your eyes. So what I did was I gave you one from here and two and three from here. So you were correct. These were the same. Oh yay! Now let me go try. These are better. Mm -hmm. Ooh, they're good. They're slightly mm -hmm. seasoned. I didn't know they were seasoned. Crispier. Let's see. Home already won, but let's just see which one. Ninja! Ninja gets another win. Wait. Okay, so home got two wins, Ninja got two wins, and we had one tie. So it's basically a tie. What it comes down to is you might have to adjust your cooking time a little bit on the Ninja to get it perfect compared to the one that I'm using here. But that runs from any air fryer to any air fryer. The question from the viewer was, does the Ninja work like a regular air fryer as advertised? Yeah. Yes. It, it is a regular air fryer. It's great. Now, the thing is, I didn't even cheat and add smoke. I could add smoke to all of these with the Ninja, which I can't do with a regular air fryer. So I didn't want to cheat and give Ninja like an extra bonus. So, but you get that with the Ninja, which is nice. If you'd probably did that to the Ninja, I would have definitely liked all the Ninja. Mm -hmm. If you guys would do us a favor and do all the likey subscribe stuff, leave a comment. I answered just about every comment in my comment section. What do you want them to do for you? 
Leave a pink heart in the comments if you want more from me on my dad's YouTube channel. Both of them. Yes. And if you guys like the interactions between me and the kiddo, we have a whole nother channel called Dad Got Parks that I will link in the description below. It is our adventure going to Disney theme parks, Universal theme parks, all different places. Lots of content with me and the kiddo on there. If you enjoy this type stuff, head over there. I think you'll like that channel. Now, as far as the question goes, is the Ninja an air fryer? That's a big yes. That only leaves us one question to answer. Oh, not again. Why don't french fries make good friends? Why? Because they can be real dip sticks. Get it? You dip them in ketchup. <laughs> dip sticks. Do not. These jokes are not funny. If you also, have a dad, thank you, to you our know. Members. I want to say thank you to all our members. You guys are the best. If you really want to support this channel, consider becoming a member. You get 24 hour access to early videos. That is not how you say that. You get 24 hour early access to videos. That's how you say that. You also get um, shout outs, producer credits at the end of videos. And if you become a top lever member, we will sit lever member. Can't speak today. I just want to eat <laughs> fried foods. If you become a top level member, we will send you a holiday card at the end of the year for whatever holiday you sell. And I will write on it. And she'll write on it also. And I'll give you something really special. So it. become a member. We appreciate it. So, Dad may make awesome fried foods, answer viewer questions, but there is one thing that Dad will never do. Dad and your chest, that's it. Bye. Bye. Be a member. This episode of Dad Got This was brought to you by our producers. Thank you very much. Oh, <laughs> oh, finish. <laughs> Keep it together. <laughs> Just finish chewing and then give your thoughts. <laughs>